Hey guys, what's up? Gimli1357 here, and I'm doing a video in Halo Anniversary, which just came out yesterday. Um, I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of all the achievements in the Pillar of Autumn, the very first mission, uh, which is um, to get through it without uh, using a health pack, get through it without using an overshield, and get through it without taking any health damage. Um, two of those achievements can be done on any mission, but I decide we might as well clear them out in the first mission. Uh, so, in this video, I will be mostly just showing you like some tips for different areas on how to defeat the enemies without getting hurt. So the first part, you just have to continue to keys and there's a terminal right there if you're collecting those I already got it um, in a separate video that I will be posting later um, let's see you can just uh, skip the cutscene keys gives you a gun that doesn't have any bullets in it for some reason why the captain of a spaceship wouldn't have bullets but you just continue along here and you'll find three grunts which first three enemies you fight and then go through this door and you'll get an assault rifle to take out these guys which the best thing I have to say is to try and get the grunt first because once you kill the grunt uh, the door will open and marines will come in and they will distract the elites and then you can come up behind them and assassinate them. Both. So that makes it a lot easier at that part. And then I suggest grabbing a plasma rifle because it is very, very powerful and can be very helpful in taking out elites and grunts. So another thing is this door will close if you like walk out of it and stay out of it. The door will close up. So uh, like try to stay near the door if you want to continue shooting with the pistol. But you have limited ammo in it, so and throw grenades too. Grenades are helpful. So you can see, taking out the grunts first is usually a good idea because they're the easiest, yet they will take you out if you don't take them out. <laughs> They'll sneak up on you. So, uh, strategy against the elites is to shoot them a lot with the plasma rifle until their shields are down and then shoot them in the head with the pistol. And this is like your first big battle and somewhat difficult one but when you come out this door be wary because he sometimes will run out that other elite will run out and just hide there you can see I took a shield down pulled out the pistol and boom to the head oh I didn't get him there but I got him didn't get him there either got him there there we go elite down yay so we continue through the doorway down the tunnels and we are going to find a red elite who normally does not turn around like that uh, normally he stays looking at that but for some reason he kept turning in looking at me like he'd, he'd look at the marines and then he'd look at me so like here oh missed 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 uh, usually he'll look at the elites and you can just run up behind him and punch him in the back but uh, th that did not work for me at this point <laughs> not this time last time I tried it it did uh, but swap your plasma rifle there because the ammo for those run out fairly quickly. But you can find them everywhere. Uh, so at this part, throw a grenade right in that doorway to take out like a lot of them because there's a lot of grunts and I think two elites in there. See, two grenades took out all but the. Okay, I think it's just one elite. Yeah, took out all but the one elite. Er, I don't know if that red elite was alive or not. But anyway, two grenades should take out most of them. Uh, get some plasma grenades, a new plasma rifle. 
Do not pick up the overshields in there, or you will void that achievement. And this is on legendary, by the way, because the achievement must be done on legendary. So stick that grenade on, or stick that elite with the grenade, and then fire some shots at the grunt. Make sure everybody's all cleared out. Continue through. And when you come around this corner, there'll be two elites. Stick one of them with a grenade. And it, sometimes it'll blow up the other one, but he didn't there because he ran away from him. So you can either try to stick that elite too, or just shoot him until his shields are down, and then shoot him with the pistol. In fact, there's two elites left. One of them was hiding. Which, that's one of the things I always liked about Halo 1, is when you stuck an elite, even on Legendary, that meant they were dead. You got that kill, but in, like, Halo Reach, when you stick an elite on Legendary, that, it, it doesn't kill him instantly. It just takes, it doesn't even take his shields down all the way. So that's one of the things that's really nice about Halo 1. Stick a grenade equals kill. So you can see, just like, always look around for plasma grenades, because they are very helpful in taking out elites. Uh, grunts. I often don't waste pistol ammo on them, unless they're far away. Uh, I use the plasma rifle, because that has a lot more ammo. And wherever you see marines, always go the other way, because that's usually where the enemies are not expecting you. Like here. Sneak around, and uh flank them, hit them from the side. See that grenade took out both of the elites, which was nice. And continue on, hitting more grunts. And watch out when marines get stuck with the plasma grenade, sometimes they'll run towards you, which is not good. <laughs> so, so be careful when they get stuck with grenades. That's like the grunt's deadliest weapon is grenades. So you can see there are a couple elites around this corner as well. Which we will take out quickly with plasma grenades. There's a lot of plasma grenade throwing in this level. Because there are many elites. So, now that they're all cleared up again, scavenge for ammo and grenades. Uh, there's over shields in there, but again, can't pick them up. Unless you want to do these at separate times, like you get the over shields and complete the don't pick up a health pack and don't get damaged achievements, and then go through again and uh, pick up all the health packs you want, get hurt, and just don't grab the over shields. You could do it two separate attempts, but. I do it here in one, which is a lot harder, so I actually would suggest doing this in two playthroughs. Um, also, you'll notice I do not have the Grunt Funeral Skull turned on. I have it, but I didn't turn it on because it makes this a lot easier. Like, I could complete this all way easier if the Grunt Funeral Skull was turned on, but... Um, for those who get the game later and don't get Grunt Funeral... If you don't get it, like, right away, which I don't know why you wouldn't, but, um, yeah, that, this guide is for you guys, because it's very, very difficult. Especially this part. This is one of the, one of the most difficult parts, because they're on a different level than you. And always make sure you take out this elite on the left, or he will surprise you. The elite and grunt that come out of the left door take both of them out um, before concentrating on the higher level enemies that are up above you. Which they usually won't be able to like shoot you too much unless you go up the steps, but you pretty much have to go up the steps at one point because like if they start like running above where you're at into the side like this where it's hard to shoot at them. 
So you can see I'm taking out most of the grunts first, which if you have Grunt Funeral on, they pretty much kill all the elites too, because they'll just blow up and be very helpful. Which, at this point, you can't really throw grenades too much, it, because they're on a higher level, you it falls behind them and doesn't really hurt them bad. Unless you stick them, but that's very difficult to do at this part too. Especially on Legendary. And see, we take them out. And. Trying to clear. Yeah, all the elites. All the elites from up above. Which just basically takes a lot of pistol ammo and a lot of plasma rifle. <sighs> Gotta do a lot of shooting. And always aim for the head. Always. And then this guy, he came down to the middle, which was really nice of him. I mean, it was like, hey, you know, I realize you're on Legendary and you're like fighting five of us, so... I I'm gonna come down to your level and make it easier for you. That was nice of him. So, uh, yeah. So here I ran out of plasma rifle ammo, and I had to go back and get some more. Got some more plasma rifle. Ran up here. Looking for that one last elite where he might be hiding. He's right up there. I took his shields down with plasma rifle, and this is where I run up and start shooting at him with the with the pistol. The, the Halo 1 pistol. The most powerful weapon in the game. Pretty much. Besides maybe the rocket launcher, but... In here, you got two grunts, and, or three grunts, and two elites. That one red elite is hiding back there. So I suggest here, again, plasma grenades. Which I got the blue elite, and then missed the red elite. But, uh, I think that grenade got him. Or at least her, yeah, that, that grenade got him. So you come up here, and there's a couple more grunts hiding back here a little bit. Um, I suggest going around the box and taking out this one who's sometimes hiding. Sometimes he's not there, but at least you'll have cover. Because, yeah, the grunts might not kill you, but they can take down your shields and then damage your health. So when you come around this corner, you'll see a grunt and two elites. Or, an unelite. I think there's another one in the back farther, though. Yeah, that one right there. So you'll want to, again, sticky grenades. And that one, he just stood there. He's like, oh, there's a grenade at my feet. I'll just stand here for a while. Nice of him, too. Continuing on through the level... And this is where it starts getting a little bit easier. Like you, there's only really one more big battle at this point. And that's after you come out of the little tunnels. Uh, so, yeah, mostly now you just fight a couple grunts here and there. Until through once you get to the end of this tunnel, which Cortana is telling me to go here, but it won't open. And then you just punch it. Yeah, that's all you gotta do is just punch it. And then you continue around through the tunnel, turning flashlight on and off, making it not go down quite as quickly. And when you come out, this is where your next main battle is. Um, you're going to fight a grunt and like three or four elites and a couple more grunts. That's not the only grunt, but I suggest uh, punching him. Don't waste ammo. That somehow took out a grunt. There must have been one, like, right beside the door. Uh, that one that you just saw laying over there. Threw a sticky and missed. That's the thing. These elites like to dodge plasma grenades, so... Makes it a lot harder to kill all of these elites. But I did get that one. And then there's two grunts that just kind of go running. And that one waits for you. Use a plasma rifle on them. Don't waste pistol. Unless you have a lot of pistol ammo. And then there's another elite who, like, charged. 
and then he just stands out there and I'm waiting for my shields to recharge. Always make sure your shields are fully recharged before you like go out and attack. And somehow I missed. Somehow I missed when they're both standing right in front of the door. And then I'm out of grenades. So I'm just using plasma rifle to try and take them all down. So you can see we have the two elites over there. That overheated. Wait for it to cool down. Do a lot of uh, hit and run tactics here. Shoot, run back into cover. Shoot, run back into cover. In fact, you should probably do that throughout like this whole mission. See, hurt my shields pretty bad, so this is where you do the run part, and then come back out for the hit. Which he took my shields completely down. Your shields are allowed to go down completely. As long as they don't take off any health. So, do some shooting. Pull out the pistola. Shoot him in the head. And then, yeah, that one red elite is still alive, so I decide to kind of, you know draw him this way if I can. So I grab a new plasma rifle, I look, I don't see him, but I decide to go look over here for more ammo and grenades. And plus I forgot that this is not the way you're supposed to go. Yeah, I kinda go backwards and then like through here again, I'm a little bit confused. A little bit confused. So I go back through the tunnel. Probably should have clipped this part down. Oh well. Continue through. Back the exact same way that you went before. And come back around here. And back around here. That door is closed. There's a lot of the windows that are actually closed, like these ones. Which, yeah, I, I know I'm lost here. <coughs> so, uh, yeah. Just kinda, you know, look around the tunnels. Look around the tunnels. Look around the tunnels. And there we go. There's our exit. Back where we were. And so, what we have to do is describing ammo. And the red elite, for me, he's hiding down the corner right there, you can see. So, I went to throw a grenade, and then he just ran at me. And so, wait for the shields. And back down, he's back in the corner again. Throw a sticky. Hurt him. Pull out the pistol. Look, boom, 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 boom. He's down. And then this part here, that elite explosions will happen and it will kill him, but you must shoot him a little bit first. See that explosion? Because I went through this before, made it up to this point, and I didn't shoot him. I was thinking the explosion will probably kill him, and it didn't. It just damaged him. Kind of like these grunts here. They didn't get killed from that explosion either. So you want to continue down the way that the Elite was standing, except go to the left. I guess more of where the grunts were standing. And then through another little tunnel, where there's just kind of random grunts hiding in here, for some reason. Maybe they were having a grunt birthday party. Ha! Huh. Pun. Come out here and miss the elite with a sticky grenade. Very critical. Hit the grunts. 
And the Elite is still hiding over here, but he's low on health, so I just stand here and shoot at him. Until he's down. And then continue around here. Shooting at grunts. There's a couple grunts over this way. I think there's three of them. Let's hit those three. And then continue. And then when you come back this way, almost to the end here. Launch a grenade in there. Uh, again, flanking the elites. Um, best thing to do is just sit there and throw grenades. And then pop out and shoot them a couple times. And there. And I'm like, okay, got them all. And then I come around here. And I'm like, yeah. Yep. Guess I got all of them. And then I'm like, oh, nope, he was just hiding there. And then I stuck him with a grenade. So we continue back around. Stick another elite. Right on the leg. Throw a frag at the grunt. And then continue through the hallway. Looking, looking, looking. Come out this way and you'll see a bit of a fire battle going on. Two grunts and some marines. Three grunts and some marines. For some reason the marines could not take on three grunts. And here we are at the end. We just have to wait for Cortana to say her line. Right after we killed that grunt, she said it. But I didn't notice it. I'm still looking for more enemies. And then I come back around, say hi to the marine. And then to the end. And there will be a cutscene here, and after the cutscene, it will bleep bloop your achievements. He's unstoppable. For beating it without taking any health damage. Complete any mission. Complete the Pillar of Autumn without picking up a health kit. And complete the Pillar of Autumn without picking up an overshield. So the one without taking any health damage, that can be done on any mission, but... That side will hit all three in the first mission. And also for completing the first mission. Uh, we got all four achievements. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this achievement guide. Uh, slash walkthrough. And tune in to Gamer's Guide for more achievement tips, reviews, and guides, and videos, and etc, etc. See ya!